Star Wars' Derek Beasley is here right now to tell us what we can expect. And well, it looks like we're going to get some rain, uh, Vic, and it's going to come in tomorrow afternoon and evening, right around the evening rush hour. So Monday night looks wet, Tuesday morning looks wet, and really things are going to start to dry out nicely as we head towards midweek. So let's get right to your forecast. We had some rain early this morning. If you were watching the middle of the latter part of last week, you, you definitely heard us talk about this secondary system that was going to come in on Sunday, and that's what we saw. A few of those scattered showers this morning, and you see how quickly the system moved out of our area. So that's out of our hair for the time being, but we're tracking another one to our south and west that promises to bring wet weather back to the area here by Monday evening. So again, cloudy skies overnight tonight. Rain chances return Monday afternoon and evening. It looks like, though, that'll move out by Tuesday morning. So dry for midweek. The next storm after that looks to arrive towards the end of the week, mainly on Saturday here to start next weekend. 40s and 50s across the area. We're at 51 here in Baltimore, 51 also for Annapolis, 47 up towards Elkton. So a mixture of low 50s, upper 40s through this evening. Later tonight, though, only dropping into the low to mid 40s under a mostly cloudy sky. So it's not going to be overly chilly, but we certainly will be cooler as we go into later on tonight into tomorrow morning, of course, than what we had this afternoon. Here's that next system that's approaching our area from the south and west. I'll show it to you. There it is right there. And it is creating some severe weather down along the I-55 corridor, down towards Jackson, Mississippi, heading down into central Louisiana. And some of this rain is what's going to spread our way here by tomorrow evening, as future cast shows. Notice the clouds will remain thick overnight tonight. Here comes the rain starting during the afternoon hours on your Monday, and then gradually increasing in coverage through the evening and overnight hours. And we're actually going to see a pretty decent band of heavier rain that will try to push in the region. Notice we could get a changeover to a rain snow mix by early Tuesday morning, especially up near the Pennsylvania border. Right now, we don't expect anything significant as far as accumulations are concerned, but there is that chance for a brief changeover as the system begins pulling away. Then, as Tuesday rolls on, the chances for rain will go down. Notice here by noon, it looks like light rain chances will continue, and then by afternoon, we should be completely dry. And that sets us up for a pretty nice Valentine's Day on Wednesday, a little cooler with highs in the mid 40s, but it will be dry, most importantly. Dry weather sticks around through the end of the week with a slow warm up and then more. Rain chances in the forecast, maybe a little snow mixed in too by Saturday morning. Vic, back to you. Derek, thank you.